Now it is hella efficient, like really efficient. So at 50% throttle, it's pulling one amp. So four motors, that's four amps. And we're talking about 100 grams of thrust. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. So today I've tested micro motors, 1102 and 1103 motors, especially made for the toothpick class, which is from the 8,500 KV to the, I think 11,000 KV or theoretical KVs, but those types of motors that are currently found in the market from the Red Devil to the Happy Model to the Diato, well, actually not this one yet, but I'll talk about that in a bit. And I've also tested the iFlight one uh, motors i remember i've never really got to fly them because i burnt them so let's talk about my findings we're also going to take a look at the results here now first of all i had to design new motor mounts for the rcn benchmark thrust stand this is the best in the market and my esc stress testing or my esc noise testing is based on their bigger model the more expensive model which i've modified to do my esc noise testing however this one they've also sent me the smaller one which i've designed these adapters right here for so i've designed two of them because some motors still take three screws and some motors take those four screws so i've created these two adapters with the same specifications as the original and also do have a calibration weight so everything is calibrated now there's a couple interesting things that you should know about escs now for the esc i was using this one right here this is found on the full speed toothpick and i think it's rated for six amps however what's really crazy about this is if it exceeds six amps it'll shut down the fets it won't burn the fets it'll actually shut down the fets until they cool down and then i'll just use another esc by that time everything's cooled down i go back to the other esc and that explains why the quad didn't burn when it was in the tree when I was trying to get it down the other day. I, I was just stuck there and I was just pulling full throttle and I needed this thing down because of the SD card that's inside. And when I came in and I told you, oh, I think this is the best ESC. Well, it has a safety limit. So if it exceeds six amps or temperature, it'll disable itself. However, you won't be able to take full advantage of a 3S on this because if you do that, it, these motors pull around eight amps or so. So keep that in mind. So the ones that come on the full speed toothpick here, they can pull up to eight to 10 amps here. So this is really great with a safety limit. Now let's talk about what I did differently. So I used another 20 by 20 ESC because I was sick of the limits here and I wanted to see how far I could push these motors. Now today when I was testing, I used a 20 by 20 ESC and I actually did burn a motor on 3S. So these are not really 3S compatible, obviously with the KV, uh, they're not really 3S compatible. And this is where I told you, oh, well, I think, the iFlight is terrible. Actually, you know, the iFlight ESC was giving the full possibly 8 amps to the 11,000 kV motor, which is this one here, or 10,000 kV motor, and that's why I burned the motor. So the ESC from the iFlight is a really great ESC because it does give all the current you want, even though it might be too much and you might end up burning a motor. So don't use anything that's, you know, 10,000 kV on 3S. There's a high probability you'll burn it. I have also tested the Happy model, on the Happy Model motors on a 3S HV, totally fine, not hot, they could with handle 3S just fine. And I also tested the Red Devils motors, these are exactly identical, even though they say the KV is different, they're basically identical. So they both held 3S just fine without heating up, uh, which is great. So they are 3S compatible, like fully compatible, and you just need an ESC to take full advantage of that. So keep that in mind. So that's something that I figured out today. So I will also be pulling the motors off the, the, the Diatone Kebab FPV toothpick. These are the 1103 Mambas, the 10,000 KV. So I'll be pulling these out and testing them with the Flywoo and some other things that I'm receiving, other motors uh, for the toothpick class, just to get us really nice idea and really nice reference. So I've been working on this all day and I came up with a really nice solution. So enough talking, let's take a look at the results and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so this is the results right now for the three motors, which is the iFlight B motor 10,000 kV, the full speed uh, 1103 11,000 kV, and the happy model motor that's found on the Red Devil and as well as the uh, Sailfly. All right, so on the left here, what we're seeing is the thrust in grams. And on the right here, we're seeing the amp draw. And these are separated in four different sections, which is 25% throttle, 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle. And if we take a look down here, we can see the iFly amp, the 
the full speed amp at 25% throttle and the happy models amp draw this is all at 25% throttle and below the amp draw we have the thrust here and this goes for everything 50% 75% and 100% throttle now if you're looking for the full specs with the efficiency and everything I'll have this in as well as the other tests linked down below so 50% throttle is where all of them were basically the most efficient at and uh, for example the iFlight was pulling 1.9 amps and it was giving around 40 grams of thrust here and the full speed was pulling 1.5 amps and it was giving 33 grams of thrust that, that's great because you know you have four motors 33 times four and then here you take a look at the amp draw so 1.5 then you got like six amps but usually you're flying way less than that you're flying anywhere between so depending on if you're flying proximity you rarely ever hit 50 percent throttle like just barely ever sometimes if you want to do a quick stop so if we take a look at the happy model it's obviously lower kv so and it's lower it's a smaller motor it's a 1102 8500 kv when the other ones are 11,000 and 10,000. so this is 8500 kv and 3s capable now it is hella efficient like really efficient so at 50 percent throttle it's pulling one amp so four motors that's four amps and we're talking about 100 grams of thrust and usually these toothpicks weigh 44 grams and this is what i meant by efficiency and crappy cheap batteries will get you going even if you get two 1s hvs and stick them together with the adapter um you'll get really great flight time and this is this is this is really starting to make sense now uh since we have the data in front of us here now if we take a look at the 75 or let's go to the 100 percent throttle you guys obviously could pause this and look around if we take a look at the 100 percent throttle we see that the iFlight motors were pulling 8.10 amps that is crazy that is on a 2s 8.10 amps and we were getting 118 grams of thrust this is one motor here and the full speed was 6.4 so it's it's not more efficient it's just it's more battery friendly <laughs> and it was giving 106 grams so two amps for an extra 10 grams i would pass on that any day it's around yeah two around two amps one amp and a half so in terms of efficiency here i think the the full speed would actually be a bit more efficient than the iFlight motors but this does not include torque torque is a whole different story but i don't know how much torque you might need here to be honest so i don't know how the hell i'm going to test torque for you guys but maybe i can figure something out later on if we take a look at the eye flight here it's double the amp draw but it's not double the thrust so in terms of efficiency the happy model is the most efficient but again you got to keep in mind to keep uh the weight as as low as possible now i do have more motors on the way the gib rcs and everything so we'll be testing those together i'll try to group motors together uh this way I, you know we don't just talk about one tiny little motor we could compare a couple motors together and i'll keep track of all of them and i'll have all this linked down below and again guys if you like this content please consider joining my patreon and clicking the links down below those keep the channel going and i'll see you in the next one peace out